Hello and welcome. This is quite a strange little video that I'm going to do, but I thought I would do it. This is if you've if you're into Warhammer 40,000 or, or Warhammer in general, and you've bought yourself a game and battle board, or you've made one, and you're thinking, "Crikey, I, I'm going to need a load of paint and flock glue, things like that." You may think about buying one of these. It's called a Citadel Scenery Painting Pack and it's got a big tub of brown, some ochre paint, a brush, some flock, some glue. It's, it says there £25.50, it is actually £26. It, yeah, it's a fair, fair amount of money, but I think you'd spend more in little pots of paint if you wanted to paint it with little pots of paint because they're about £2.40 each. Alternatively, by all means, you can go out and buy yourself a, a £10 or £15 a can of paint from a do-it-yourself store that that's fine but this is just primarily like an unboxing and and review of the contents in the scenery pack whether it's worth the 25 pound and things you may have already made your mind up whether it is or not I'll be using the, the Spyderco Sage 2 it my channel is mainly a knife channel so you'll you'll see me use plenty of uh, fancy knives in unboxings and things so I did buy a, a gaming Realm of Battleboard gaming table. They're very expensive, but I've been getting into the hobby, and I, it's too, I don't really have a club nearby, so it's and it's too far and too it's too pricey really for me to travel all the time to my nearest Games Workshop. So overall, it's just it's just cheaper in the long run for me to buy a Battleboard and have games on that. So we open this up. And you're met with a <laughs> with a brush that is it's all right, I suppose. This is very it's not wood or anything. This is plastic, and it's very very light. <laughs> Probably lighter than the UKPK. Uh, here we go. So that's that's the brush. It's, it's a say two inch brush, fifty mil. This is your pot of brown paint. We we will open this. Should we shake it first? Now let's just be, be brave. Open this. Oh. It's um, very, very full in there. Very full. You'd expect it to be, wouldn't you? It's 400 mil. But there you go. That's that. Here's the flock. Or grass, should I say. You get a scorched grass bag. It's the largest of the two. It's 200 grams. And you get a normal grass bag, which is only 25 grams. So they they want you to use this this grass that has more more red, more red and and darker pieces in it because there's 200 grams in there. So you've got a smaller bag of that, of uh, normal grass. You've got this okra. And then you only get 40 mil. It's ten times less than the brown. And I have been told that if you mix this with the brown, you can get quite a nice uh, deserty colour. Just slightly open this. Yeah, that needs a very good shake. So you get that paint in there. And you get a little pot of PVA glue, 120 mil pot of PVA glue. Uh, yep, that looks fine. Hasn't gone solid or anything. So that's what you get in this box for 25 pound. Uh, do I think it's worth it? I'm not sure. I mean, nowadays bags of flock are about 10, 10 or 15 pounds. Uh, brushes. You can get them for a couple of pound, so that, let's just round that up to about seventeen pound. One of these will set you back about five pound at least, so that's twenty something pound. And then you've got these two big pots of, well, one big pot and a and a little pot. So all in all, I'd say it's it probably is worth it for twenty five pound or twenty six pound. If they were charging thirty pound or or more, I, I don't think it would be worth it that much. I think you could get those those items yourself. Personally, I'm not really going to use much of the grass or the glue. 
and I've got plenty of brushes, but I am going to use this brush and those paints. Uh, but at least I've got a, a store of grass if ever I want to add some to my models. So and I've got plenty of PVA glue anyway. So I do think I do overall think think this uh, scenery pack's worth it. It gives you plenty of options. I would have liked a few other things like some scenery pieces and and that, but they do their own separate scenery boxes and things. So what else would I like in this box? Oh, water feature. Come on. You know, come on, people, I mean, don't just limit yourself to, oh, this, you've got to get this with the, the battle board. They do a, a pot of a pot of this uh, sized PVA glue, but with water uh, feature, kind of like a water effect. So why not put that in? Why not put a, an, another pot of these in, but blue? Why not put a grey? Why not put a dry brush brush? I mean, this you can dry brush this, not a problem. But there are there, there's scope of put, adding more to this scenery pack. Uh, but there you go. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing and review of the the Citadel scenery painting pack. Or yeah, it's a painting pack. If you have enjoyed this review, thought it's quite useful in any way, please do comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.